Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I went from this to that. It was definitely not a smooth ride, I had lots of ups and downs and I made many many mistakes. So I narrowed it down to 8 main things that I have learned throughout the way and hopefully these 8 tips, if you can call them that, will help you throughout your own journey as well. So first a quick disclaimer, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist, these are just the things that I have learned throughout my own personal experiences and these are some mistakes or things that might help you throughout your own journey as well, as I said before. <laughs> so now let's get to it. About a year ago, I decided that I wasn't happy with the way I looked, I wasn't happy with the way I was feeling, I was constantly tired, exhausted, lethargic all the time like all the time so i thought that it was time for a change i went to the gym i started working with a personal trainer and adjusted my diet started eating cleaner and here i am now of course as i said before it wasn't a smooth ride although i did lose t about 10 kilograms in, in the first three months i gained some of it back a couple of months later and then i was able to lose that weight again and maintain it i'll tell you how i did that in a second so uh let's get to the trip to the tips so my first tip to you guys you've probably heard this a million times before but it's so underrated which is stay hydrated drink a lot of water water is so 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 important it's good for your health it's good for your skin and it's good for also managing these constant hunger and cravings it is true sometimes you feel hungry but you're actually thirsty and if you drink like a cup of water and wait five to ten minutes you'll find like oh i'm not hungry anymore so definitely give it a try if you don't normally drink a lot of water keeping a bottle next to you at all times really does help with that so my next tip is distinguishing between fat loss and weight loss so weight loss does not necessarily mean necessarily mean fat loss when you stand on the scale you measure your weight and your weight includes everything from your fat percentage to your muscle mass the percentage of water in your body everything. what you want to do is you want to focus on your fat loss not your weight loss so don't be too obsessed with the scale also try measuring yourself like with a measuring tape that might be more accurate or hopefully when things are better and you can go to the gym you can weigh yourself and do like an in-body measurements that measures everything from your metabolic rate to your uh, mass to your muscle mass to your body fat percentage and all that stuff so that's definitely a more accurate way to measure your progress and my third tip and the most important thing when losing weight is knowing that it's as simple as calories in versus calories out so regardless of the diet that you're doing if you're vegetarian paleo regular diet no diet at all whatever you're doing calories in versus calories out is key if you eat more than you burn then the extra energy that your body gets through food that is not burnt is automatically going to be stored as fat and you don't want that. so it's uh even though it's as simple as calories in versus calories out you need to know that your body does not process all calories equally so if you eat just drunk food and you're at in a calorie deficit you might see some results but you won't see the, res the same results as eating a healthy balanced diet of carbs proteins and fat whole foods all that stuff it will you will see much much better results uh, the fourth tip and it's so important is do not the well the fourth and five, fifth tip they go hand in hand so do not under any circumstances cut any of the major food groups which are carbs fats and proteins which also means do not fall into these in any of these fat diets that promise quick results easy results because losing weight and being able to maintain it it's definitely not quick and not easy at all i don't want you guys to be discouraged but it just you need to put in the effort you need to put in the work so do not cut any any major food groups at all because your body needs everything it needs carbs it needs fats it needs protein but within moderation so this brings us to the sixth tip which is balance balance is key balance i mean food i mean exercise with food like i said before 
you need to balance out the three main macros, proteins, fats, and carbs. With exercise, I mean, you need to work to find what works for you. You don't have to go to the gym to lose weight. You can do, if you prefer working out at home, you can do lots of home workouts. If you prefer doing yoga, do yoga. Uh, Pilates, do Pilates, boxing, go boxing. If you like swimming, go swimming. You get the point. Whatever works for you. You don't have to go to the gym five days a week to lose weight. No, if you don't like the gym, that's fine. If you love the gym, then go ahead. So the seventh tip is do not compare yourself to others. So like I said before, you need to find out what works for you. And comparing yourself to others is not going to lead you anywhere because we're all different. And we all process food differently. We all react to exercises differently. We all have different metabolic rates. We all have different bodies. We all have different body types. So comparing yourself to others is just not gonna lead you anywhere and it's not very productive so do not compare yourself to others focus on yourself focus on yourself find out what works for you my eighth and final tip is to learn to adapt and listen to your body so by learning to adapt i mean as the process goes on as you lose weight as you learn more as you try this and it doesn't work and then try that and it actually works for example when i started my weight loss journey i weighed myself every day and it was working fine for me but then i got a i got i got a little bit too obsessed with losing weight and now i'm at a point where i need to just focus solely on losing fat gaining muscle and i don't really care about my weight as much so i stop weighing myself every day uh, you also need to be listen to your body so on days when you do not feel like exercising don't exercise if you feel exhausted or if you feel too tired to exercise don't so always be mindful of your body and listen to your body and listen to what your body is telling you so that's it these are all my eight tips oh before i forget i just remembered a ninth very important tip which is to stay consistent you would only see results if you stay consistent consistency is key it's key for seeing results and everything probably everything in your life but like if you're not consistent with your workouts with your eating with everything then you will not see results and by consistency i don't mean like sometimes you have off days sometimes you can have a cheat meal here and there that's completely fine but if you're not consistent on the long term you will not see results i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next one. bye